Hello everyone, welcome to a new video on the channel. Today we are playing the TBR Jar game for August and going to get into the hopefuls for that. If you're new here, hello, welcome, my name is Shao. I like to share all about my reading journey through my reading journal and also through my own thoughts of the books that I read. So if that's something that you would like, please feel free to subscribe at any time. So to play the TBR Jar game, this is just simply a way to guide my reading each month. I am not a mood reader, I definitely like structure, and I pull out about five prompts each month, give or take, there is a rule for it, um, and they just simply guide what I want to read uh, and help me from the indecisiveness of... Um, times where I just don't know what to pick up. So my best friend and I use this jar but each month we draw out five prompts unless we did not complete the TBR jar game the previous month then we have a slight punishment of picking out an extra prompt so six prompts um, and there are a couple in here that are specifically for me and a couple in here that are specifically for my best friend. If either of us pull those out we just put them back in the jar because they're not really for us. Um, and there are some genres that she will read and I won't and vice versa. So I'm going to get straight into July's prompts and how we feared so we can set up for the month of August. And as you can see I've got the page here with some <laughs> of the prompts filled in. Now I accidentally made a mistake in setting this month up. I put down six prompts because I thought that I had to take a punishment. But I actually, when I played the game last, finished all my prompts. So I only had to do five. Technically I have completed the game. Uh, but I'm going to try and strive for the, <laughs> the short book anyway. Um, because it feels like a challenge. And I'm excited to try and do that because I've had a good reading month. So... The prompts that I had for July were Historical Romance and I read The Secret Service of Tea and Treason by India Holton. I gave that four stars. For title slash name, I chose House of Sky and Breath by Sarah J Maas. I also gave that four stars. We're going to skip short books. I haven't read it yet. Fantasy, I read Fourth Wing uh, by Rebecca Yaros and I gave it 4.5 stars. Indie book was Make Your Move by Heather Garvin and I gave it four stars. And cute cover, I chose The Long Game by Alina Armes. I had an e-art copy of this and I gave it three stars. So let's get straight into the game. I'm going to flip through to August spot. We've got five spots ready to go because we have completed this month and we're going to go straight into the game. I'm going to push this off to the side actually. I don't need it anymore and give us a bit more room. So I'm going to draw out my first prompt in a minute. Now you're going to see that I'm a little bit bandaged up. Um, this is going to be an interesting round because uh, for those who have been following me for a few months now, you will have seen that I have an injury to this hand and I normally have a cast on it, uh, like a plastic one. I'm having to rely on this hand a lot more at the minute because um, I can't use my right hand, which I'm frustrated by. I'm right dominant, right hand dominant. So let's see if I can play the game left-handed today. Um, it might be a bit awkward. Here we go. First prompt of the day. Let's see if the camera will actually focus on it. There we go. It is 2023 new release. I can use that for any of the e-arcs that I've got actually. That would be great. Prompt number two is going to be... Let's see. Mood read. <laughs> okay. Not really in the mood for mood reading at the moment. So we'll see how that goes over August. Prompt number three... Oh no, we got pick five and spin. <laughs> That's frustrating. Okay, we're still going to go with it. Pick five and spin essentially means, let me just zoom in, I don't know why it doesn't want to focus on that. Uh, pick five and spin is I pick five books, I play a generator game on my phone, and whatever it lands on is the book that I have to read. Again, I might do that with some EARCs, I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do. Right. Prompt number four is going to be audiobook. Perfect, because that's what I've been reading a lot of lately or listening to. 
why does it not want to focus today I'm so sorry about that and the last prompt is going to be I think it's because my arm keeps going in the way normally I don't use this arm right what have we got published before 2023 again that's zoomed out let's see there we go why do I say zoomed it's unfocused <laughs> so I'm thinking I'm going to go pick the five books and then we will um, get I will get the generator up and put them in so one moment and I'll be back okay so I'm not gonna go through these but I found five books that I want to read soon slash I keep putting off The Stolen Ear by Holly Black this one was supposed to be my short book of the month and I think I'm gonna pick up an even shorter book just to get it done with since I'm filming this on the 29th of July um, so that'll flow over into next month We've got A Venom, Dark and Sweet by Judy Eilin. This was the, this is the sequel to A Magic Steeped in Poison I read in February. These are two library books that I have to confess <laughs> I keep renting out over and over. I literally have been taking them back to the store when I can't renew them again and putting them like through that I've checked them back in and then going straight to the counter and checking them back out because I want to read them but I just can't seem to be doing it and I've been doing this pretty much all year long with these two books so I need to read one of these books so let's hope it's one of these two because that would be perfect would it not right I'm gonna go quickly put them into my phone and if we have some strobing I'm very sorry about that but first I'm just gonna close everything that I've got open open up the generator what have we got what do we call it uh, um, spin generator generator that one wheel of names there we go that's what we want so we want to put in I'm gonna look really awful I can't type very well at the moment not see that's not even working not the which I'm just gonna put it like that we're going to make it easy on me. I know what, exactly what these books are. I'll just put Astrid Parker. If I can spell Parker. Um, Venom. <laughs> Let's make it really simple. Violent. Oh, goodness. Violent. And Air. Yeah, there we go. Right, we've got them all there in the... In the... The thing... Okay, we're ready to go. Can you guys see? Okay. What are we getting? What's the winner? Ear. The Stolen Ear. Okay. The biggest book. Of course it is. <laughs> okay, so that's the one we got for Pick 5 and Spin. Okay, so for 2023 new release, I'm going to go... Last Violent Call uh, by Chloe Gong. This has been added to my TBR so many times and August is going to be the month of completing it. I just know I have to get through this. It's only 200 and something pages, like 230 pa pages max. So I need to do it. Uh, I've talked about this a lot. It's a novella. It's set in the world of Secret Shanghai series, which is These Violent Delights and Foul Lady Fortune that world um, and it's the bridge between the first two books and the second two books or third and fourth books of the series um, that's all I'm gonna say about it I've said so much about this book if you followed me long enough now I'm sure you already know the entire synopsis because I keep going on about it need to read it someone hold me accountable for the mood read I'm just gonna pick one of the books on my TBR which you're about to see after I go through everything else um, then next on the list was what? I, have, I did take a photo of it so I can remember. Um, pick five and spin. We did that together just now. We've got The Stolen Ear by Holly Black. This is the first um, in this series. Um, obviously, I have not taken the price off the book. Um, <laughs> This is set after the Folk of the Ear series. I don't actually remember the name of the series. Is it The Stolen Ear? I'm, I'm not sure. Um, probably not. 
but I'm really looking forward to reading this because I absolutely loved the Folk of the Air series. Carden and Jude are some of my favourite characters in fantasy settings. And this follows um, after eight years. And um, it follows Siren, who we met as a child. She was the queen of the Court of the Teeth, Court of Teeth, and um, Oak, who is now 17, and Oak is um, Carden's youngest brother. So I'm really excited to read this. Let's see how many pages it is. 352. So uh, not too bad. We'll get through that very quickly, hopefully. I will. I keep saying we, like we're doing this together. If you want to read these with me, please let me know and we can totally do it. Um, the next one on the list was audiobook. So the audiobook that I'm going to read is one that I've got out already. It is All the Stars and Teeth by Adeline Grace. If you don't know, I am an absolute fan of Belladonna. I read it last year as an arc. I absolutely adore it. I'm waiting for Foxglove, which is book two. Like, it comes out next month, and I'm so excited. Or well, in August, I should say. Um, and this is Adeline's first series, or the previous series that she wrote. Um, and I actually don't know anything about it. I'm looking at the Goodreads uh, profile now. Let me... Just get that on the screen. Um, it just says that in a kingdom where danger lurks beneath the sea, mermaids seek vengeance with song and a magic is a choice. Well, I'm already hooked. I love Under the Sea, mermaids, pirate adventures, that kind of seafaring way adventures, um, anything like that, I'm hooked. Uh, it says, as princess of the island kingdom Visidia, Amora Montara has spent her entire life training to be a high and an answer, the master of souls. The rest of the realm can choose their magic, but not. But for Amora, she, it's never been a choice. To secure her place as heir to the throne, she must prove her mastery of the monarchy's dangerous soul magic. I'm assuming it goes wrong, and she has to do a whole bunch of trials and tribulations. Anyway, um, don't care what it's about. I'm going to read it. I'm going to listen to it. I really, I actually waited for this to come in because someone else had been reading it before me. So. That will probably be the first thing I listen to in August. We'll see how we go. So the last prompt on the list was a book published before 2023. I'm going to go with one of the library books that we put on the spin list. Uh, Not the Witch You Read by April Asher. Again, I don't know anything about this. I know there's a second book coming out in this world. Um, Magicless Witch Violet Maxwell wants nothing to do with Alpha Wolf Shifter Lincoln Thorne, the man who broke her fragile teenage heart. Oh, it's a second chance romance. Wicked. Um, I'm not going to read too much more of that because I kind of want to wait and figure out what it's all about when I get to it. Um, I've heard great things about it. I keep seeing it around the store um, and I decided to hire it out from the library because I'm a little bit hesitant about romances, especially by authors that I haven't read yet and I've been burned by a few of the like paranormal ones recently so I decided to hire it out rather than um, put some money into it. This is unfortunately the main reason why I haven't read it yet is it's physical and I've been relying on audiobooks all year long or ebooks. Um, so we'll see how we go. I'm looking forward to getting into this one and I do have backup plans. So if that one does not suit my taste, we have Astrid Parker Doesn't Fail by Ashley Hearing Blake. This is book two in the, gosh I cannot remember what the series is called. It is book two in the Bright Fools series. This is a sapphic romance and I read book one, uh, Delilah Green Doesn't Care I think it's called. Um, earlier in the year and I kind of liked it. I think I gave it four stars um, and I wanted to continue the series because I was invested in the characters and I wanted to see how Astrid would recover. This is um, Delilah's half-sister and she was actually meant to get married in book one and, and she ends up not actually fulfilling that marriage and so this is obviously the aftermath and her trying to figure out how to move on from that moment. She has had to live a very rigid life. Her mother is quite strict and uh, I think this follows her trying to renovate some historical building. Um, yeah, it's going to be on a show and everything. So uh, this will be interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing how it goes. I know book three is coming out or already out, so 
and I want to get onto that one. Again, library book, did the same thing, didn't want to put money into it if I didn't like it. Um, and now we're going to go on to the pile of books that I've got as um, the rest of my TBR. Each month I do eight books um, on my TBR. So the first one I'm going to share is next month's, oh gosh, the glare. Uh, um, we're not going to be able to get rid of that, sorry, it's just a glossy cover. That makes it worse. Uh, is next month's book club read for To Whatever End, the fantasy book club that I belong to and kind of co-host. I've unfortunately had to step back a little bit um, due to being so busy. But it is The Poison Season by Mara Rutherford. Now this month I picked up Luminous. I re listened to it as an audiobook. That is another book by Mara Rutherford. My first time reading this author and so I kind of have expectations of how this will go. Uh, this follows Lilo, I think her name is. Yeah, Lilo, and she's lived on an isolated island that's quite dangerous, and they don't accept newcomers at all. They're like a quite uh, tight-knit community, and um, the she's sort of like a guardian of the island, and um, if anyone does try to come in, they either have to choose the forest or the lake and basically get killed in them. So um, I'm not sure why that happens, just that it does. And there's something about magic and that her brother doesn't have magic um, ability yet. So she's worried about him being killed off at his next birthday. Uh, it sounds like there's a lot of like depth and layers and lies that have been told to Lilo. Um, and she'll rediscover that or she will discover it, I should say, um, during the fact that she saves a newcomer. I think his name's Jaren. So I'm looking forward to reading this, and um, I don't really know much more about it. Like I said, I've read one book by this author, and I liked it enough. I gave it four stars, but who knows um, how this one's going to go. It does sound quite um, dark, and I'm not huge on dark fantasy. I say that when I like a lot of them, that have dark elements but there's a fine line for me so I might like this or I might not um, I'm looking forward to it though the vibes seem pretty cool and there's a mystery element so hopefully that'll keep us guessing I really liked when we read a mystery novel together uh, a mystery fantasy earlier in our book club and we just spent time going like through all of our theories that was so much fun so maybe this book will bring that around again and that'll be fun as well and it's ironic that the author at the top of this is Emily J. Taylor because the book of the month, each month I have a book that I have to read. It was um, chosen at the start of the year. There's a video I can link it for you all. Um, it is Hotel Magnifique by J Emily J. Taylor. <laughs> I didn't even say that properly. Emily J. Taylor. So um, I've been wanting to read this for the longest time. I don't know why I keep putting it off, but it's like marketed as like, if you loved Caraval, you will love this. And I'm not sure if you know, um, but my whole personality is Stephanie Garber, basically. Uh, I'm so obsessed with her books. So this one is um, another YA fantasy and it follows, goodness, Janie. She's a 17 year old. Her and her younger sister go to Hotel Magnifique to um, pick up a job but um, there's actually darkness to the hotel and there's so many secrets to uncover. So um, I'm looking really forward to reading this. Like I said it's the book of the month. Really really excited for this one. And the last book on my TBR this month is a buddy read. I am going to read book three in the Beautiful series by Renee Ardea. This is The Righteous. Uh, I just finished The Dam and I gave it four stars. And please look out for my review <laughs> coming at the end of the month, which is, goodness, in like two, three days. I'm going to post it on the Tuesday um, on the last day of the month if I can uh, film it by then. But um, like I said, this is the book. This is book three in the quartet series of this. It is set in a historical um, fantasy setting, so uh, or paranormal setting, and um, it's New Orleans, eighteen uh, hundreds, I think, or my early nineteen hundreds. I 
cannot remember off the top of my head. But basically, the main character of the beautiful um, came from Paris to New Orleans to start a new life because she um, murdered someone who was trying to hurt her and wanted to escape that past. And she connects with a few people in a dangerous circle and her life then gets put into danger there's a murder mystery in book one um ends on a cliffhanger and then book two is more paranormal we get to the vampires and the werewolves because that's what this book is sort of surrounding by and fey werewolves vampires fey uh, and there's goblins as well um and in book two i really loved it a lot until the end like I said look out for my review if you want to know more I absolutely love the covers by the way this one actually doesn't follow those characters by the way it's her best friend Celine's best friend from book one and two is called Pippa Celine's gone missing um, and she wants to find her and the only way to do that is with the help of an ethereal 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 um, called Arjun Desai and he is someone who is connected to the vampires and um, the others. So it will be about Pippa fig figuring out a bit more about this deadly paranormal game. So I, whilst I'm dubious as to how this is going to go, I am excited to see what's next in this world and hopefully feel like it redeems because I really do like how this writer or um, this author writes. Um, I just don't know why book two went the way it did. Anyway, enough about that. That is my TBR for the month. I am going physical book heavy. I think I'm going to completely mess myself up. Um, but we'll see. You guys can't even see all of these books. Goodness, let me try and lay them down. I shouldn't even be trying to pick them up with that hand, should I? There we go. <laughs> How's that? So we've got all these physical books. We've got the audio book and a mood read, which I will just pick out of these ones here, I think. That tends to be the way. Um, and I know I've got one other book club read, but I don't actually own a physical copy of it yet. So you'll get to see that hopefully in the end of the month reader uh, reading update because that book club read starts at the midway point of August. Anyway, that's enough rambling for today. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Sorry that it's a bit messy with the glare and with my hand not focus, uh, working as well. But I hope you're all well. I'll be back with a new video very soon. And I'll see you all on Tuesday when we go through the July reading update. Bye, everyone.